Okay, so just a little introduction again to Fuel the Feelings and so that people can hear me share about it in a different way. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, um, the process and maybe slanted a little bit towards fear and back pain um, today. Right, so now Fuel the Feelings, this technique will take you all the way to the enlightened state to the non-enlightened state or the non-dual state. Now, Feel the Feelings is actually a misleading title, uh, but I, I coin it because it's a phrase that many people uh, would probably understand as an easy way to understand what it is, but it's, it goes far beyond that. So what you do, so the ego, the ego, that which is the block to enlightenment, uh, the ego is holding energies, so I call them feelings, but we can say they're energies or vibrations, it's probably more accurate. And um, these energies, um, if you allow them to be experienced without resistance, then they will completely disappear uh, and take you to the enlightened state. So how do you do that? So what I su suggest, I mean, uh, if you're listening to this video, is you first close your eyes and just become aware of what is being experienced. So let's say, for example, one was experiencing, let's say, fear in the left side of their shoulder or the left side of their body or back pain or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter what it is. So understand that when one is identifying with thoughts, that is resistance to experiencing. When you so when you are hooking into thoughts, you're not feeling or allowing uh, experience, you are actually resisting experience. So in the beginning, you just get a quick read, like for example, let's say there's a fear in the left side of the body or there's back pain, you'll realize that the ego it might be in thinking. It might be thinking about you know tomorrow or thinking about the fear or thinking about the shopping or or the ego might be thinking like I wish the pain wasn't here in the back. <clears throat> Whatever it's thinking. So that is resistance to experiencing. That's not surrendering, that is resisting surrendering. So the first thing to know is detach from your thoughts. Non let go of your interest of hooking into thoughts. <clears throat> How this happens is in the beginning, you'll realize there might be, if you're new to this, a lot of attention going on to thoughts. Just unhook from the thoughts. Now, if you're very new to this, you'll be in your thoughts, and then you'll, then you'll be back, you, then you'll be allowing yourself to feel the fear, let's say, in your shoulder, or feel, feel on your left side, or feel, feel the fear in your back, uh, sorry, the pain in your back. So just allow that, and then again you'll be back into the next thought, but unhook from that thought and take your attention, just allow yourself to experience the energy. Now, the process involves on not labelling anything. You don't want to label things, because labelling is a very, very negative thing. So let if you had back pain, like pain is a label, don't say the word pain. You're just allowing yourself to experience an energy. Also, back is a label. And don't say back. Just allow the experiencing of the energy. So, if you go into a thought, unhook from that thought and be back with the energy. So, as soon as you're, you're, you're aware you're in thoughts, unhook and be back with the energy. You want to spend as much time in the ex allowing the energy to be experienced as little time in thought. So, you, each time you do this, you'll be allowing you'll catch yourself going back into thought and unhooking as quickly as possible and being back with the energy. So, then as you allow the energy, you want to have the experience of fully allowing it. What does that mean? The ego has a habitual uh, conscious and unconscious stance of not wanting to experience. It will have things like, I wish this feeling wasn't here or this pain wasn't here or I don't want to. Just let all of that go and have the attitude. Attitude is not a mental thing, but it's an inner intentionality, if you like, of wanting to experience it without any resistance at all. 
just allowing it to come up full force with zero resistance. No, um, no label fear, let go of the idea of fear, it's an energy. Let go of the idea of pa pain, it's an energy. Also location. Eventually as you're doing it, start to let go of the idea of even location, like back or left side. These, you can let that go. And as you just allow that energy, and keep unhooking from the thoughts if you go on there, you allow the energy, you allow the energy, you'll start to find it'll start to, at a certain point, it'll start to dissolve and become more diffuse. And if you just keep letting go of the idea of pain or left side, that will start to vanish. Uh, the idea of fear or pain will start to vanish. And, um, and then these energies will just evaporate into nothingness. So, and also you'll be learning, each time you do this technique, you don't need to go to your thoughts, because thoughts are your enemy. Thoughts are a form of resistance, and they actually create uh, a resistance in the opposite direction. So they're not useful by doing this. Eventually there comes what I call a sweet spot. The sweet spot, in the beginning it feels like it's a little bit difficult, but the sweet spot is when it becomes pleasurable, and it's like you can feel the energy and it starts to vibrate. And then it's like there's a pleasurable, you're in tune with the releasing of that energy. And it'll start to dissolve away. It'll dissolve so that it's beyond location, beyond uh, any kind of label, beyond any kind of thing. It becomes more and more diffuse, non-local, and more limitless in its experiencing. Because if it's located to a location in the body that's limited, if you're describing it like an emotion or a pain that's limited, all of these start to dissolve into the limitless presence as these energies start to dissolve away into nothingness. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's a good introduction to that. So we'll start now and do five minutes of this.